Hey guys, this is ChrisLink.com again, and today we have another tutorial for you. This is Chris Link here again, doing it for you. Um, today is uh, not so much a tutorial that's just going to help you out with an everyday thing. This is more of a tutorial that's going to help you out if this happens to you. Today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to fix your computer if you get this error like this when you log on, or when you attempt to log on. Which says user profile service service failed to log on, user profile cannot be loaded. Now, this is pretty common in the Windows 7. Um, it happens after a while. Um, if you've like built your computer yourself, sometimes it's a more common thing that happens. Um, I'm not sure on this, but I've heard people say it's common in Vista. So, we'll just, you know, keep your eyes out. This might still help you in the future. Now there's five steps to do this. Let's hope you don't get to six. Six is saying if you uh, if this doesn't work, contact chrislink.com. Now it also says here follow the video well. You're gonna want to watch me very very well. You're gonna watch exactly what I do. I might talk a lot, but you're gonna want to you know really watch what I get into. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. First things first, we're going to want to boot into safe mode. Now, it's real easy to do this for most people out there. Boot into safe mode. You can do this by hitting F8 once for the Windows 7 or repeatedly tapping the F8 key as the computer is starting up. Most people know that this, but when you go to that black screen when your computer turns on, right as that black screen comes up, for the Vista, you're going to want to hit F8 a bunch of times, probably like eight times, just going to go F8, 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 you know? For Windows 7, it's real when that black screen comes up and there's that little white flashing dot at, or little bar at the top left. Just hit F8 once. It'll go to a screen that says, would you like to log into at safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode with config or something like that, or start Windows normally. You're going to want to go into safe mode. Now, I'm not going to do this because I can't really record this for you guys in safe mode. So anyways, once you're in safe mode, let's pretend we're in safe mode. You're going to go up to your start button. You're going to want to go down here and you're going to want to type in reg edit. Oops. And you're going to want to click reg edit. You're going to want to bring this up. You're going to hit yes. And uh, it's we're already there. No, we're not. Interesting. Sorry. I was doing some other things in reg edit already today. Alright, we'll just start from here. Most of you guys are going to start from here. Now, <clears throat> you're going to want to find the following folder. It's under the H key, local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, profile list. Profile list is like your profiles on the computer. And I'll get into that in one more second. So we're going to get to that. You're going to go find your H key folder. You're going to open that. You're going to go to software. And then you're going to find your, uh, let's move this over here. You're going to want to find your Windows NT. No, we're going to find your Microsoft folder. You're going to find that. You want to find your Windows NT. Fast way to do it is click one and go W. And there it is. Then you're going to click current version. It should be your only one in here. From there, you're going to want to find your profile list. So type in a P. Now remember, it's still under current version. I type in P, so it'll find the P's here first. Now here's your profile list. You're going to open this up, and here's your four profiles. Here's your four profiles over here. You're going to have your default, profile dictionary, and program data, and public. If you go over here, it gets under data. It gets a little more in-depth. One is your default profile. One is your user's profile. And one is your program data profile. And one is your public profile. Public, pr administrator, all same deal. If you have one user on the computer, it's all same gig. Now, if you have another one, same deal. Now, you don't want to look at those because if you notice the folders, it goes along with those. Now, as you see over here, when we click on profile list again, we're trying to fix our public folder. It's happened to me yesterday, and I'm going to show you guys a little more in depth. I've gone all around the internet, and everybody said things, but they haven't really showed you how to do this. So here with chrislink.com, we're going to try to help you out a lot. We're going to get in. We're going to 
give you the key terms here or key stuff and we're gonna try to help you out here. If this happens to you, this hopefully is the best tutorial in the world that you can find. If somebody else does a better one, bravo to them, but this is gonna be the best one you'll find, I hope. Now you're gonna see here A, B, and C. One says if there is a folder that ends in dot back, remove dot back if it's there. I only have one folder, but uh if you have dot back you're just gonna hit rename and you wanna go back here and you're gonna type in dot back if that's there delete that dot back now I'm gonna get an error a second one second yeah okay that error don't mind that but most of the time you people are gonna have something like that is because you're gonna have two folders that are the same deal the reason that is is that's probably the reason you're getting this error up here it's most of the time it's common some people get the error because their C drive isn't being visible so uh, if your C drive is not visible you probably still have it and this will help you out probably in the long run. So you're going to want to delete that dot back if it's there. If it doesn't allow you and says there's two of that file, go to the one, the other one that's going to be named the exact same as this. Now listen closely. If there's two files that are named the same as this. It's not going to say the same as mine, but like it's going to be two files that are the same thing and one says dot back at the end. One of them is probably got less files in it. You see this one has less in it, but this one has a crap load. That is because one is your actual profile and one is your temp probably, the one that it just created. And like I said here, it probably created a temp folder and it's, if it says any file in it, like if it says data and it says temp over here somewhere, you're going to want to delete that folder. If you don't know how to do it, before you're scared, if you're going to screw up your computer, contact chrislink.com. We'll try to help you out. Anyways. If you got that done and the only step you have left is B and C, if these are set to zero, bravo, you're set to go. But you're going to want your ref count and your state value to say zero. Mine don't. You can see one says three, one says zero. Cool, one says zero. You're going to want to hit ref count and you can hit modify and change that to zero. I'm not going to because I've logged in already. My ref count is three. It turns three every time I log on. But since you guys isn't working, turn it to zero turn it to zero it'll work turn your state to zero it'll work all you do is right click modify zero mine's set there already and as you notice here it's on hexadecimal by default you guys want to keep it that way and uh, from there you're gonna just you know like it says here make the necessary changes we have made the necessary chance changes <clears throat> so we're gonna close regedit now you don't need to save it saves for you it was real that the like it's that simple guys it's really that simple now you're gonna wanna try to log in as that user if that don't work um, you know contact chrislink.com you can do this by restarting going up to start and just hitting the restart button it's pretty simple don't hold the button in the front of your computer that's just a nasty way to turn off your computer but um if you guys don't know how to do this F8 thing you can do that hold the button on the front of your computer and it'll pop up a thing when it turns on saying would you like to start your computer normally and save mode blah 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 you guys should know the drill if you have questions contact chrislink.com um, if you have this uh, error don't panic guys just don't 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 panic everybody does it it happened to me I, you know don't think you're gonna lose your computer chrislink.com is gonna help you out here and we're gonna try to fix your computer as best as we can um, that's what we do here at chrislink.com and uh, well hopefully I help you out so uh, this again is a chrislink.com tutorial um, just remember there's just really only five steps here if, you know if you don't succeed contact chrislink.com get a hold of chrislink on there me myself um, you know this is common so don't be prepared if it happens we'll help you out so uh, thank you for uh, checking out our tutorials again. This is chrislink.com. See you later.